Hi, everybody. I'm Laura Malillo Barnum. I'm friends I'm with this not. fabulous <laughs> woman right here, and I'm honored to be here and very excited. I'm very excited to see you. It has been a while. I know. Or is Eric Wentworth, owner of the Champagne Room? Yes. Say, it has been a minute. It has been a minute. <laughs> it has been a New York minute. Eric works in minutes <laughs> everywhere, and we are so grateful to Eric and Cheryl yes. and Brad. We love them. For letting us come into this beautiful place, it and you is. can see it. I mean, it look, is. look it around is you. It is spectacular. My gosh. Everything about it is spectacular. Now, I was just going to give give them a little plug, if you yes. don't mind. Please. We'll call you um, LMB. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Not to be compared to other world figures with three initials. <laughs> yes, that's right. in the news a lot, but LMB, Laura Malola Barnum. Because um, <laughs> I have so many names. I know. That's what happens when you have... You call yourself you Laura, you call yourself yeah. Laura Malola, you call Mel, yourself Laura Malola Malos. Barnum. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I am Tara. <laughs> and we <laughs> love it. her. That's it for today. So um, so what we are talking about here is the Champagnery is at the corner uh, of Frankfurt Avenue, right across from the Albert A. Stahl old firehouse that has been turned into Which silver dollar. Which is so dollar. cool. Beautiful. Yeah. Right next to the Hilltop, Hilltop. Diner. This is such a perfect Pope Street location. And if you want to just come in and hang out, or come you want to have, you know, friends for drinks or whatever you want to do. And I have perfect. my own mocktail. Yay. You guys, Laura oh, would yeah. like to have a glass of champagne at your earliest that? convenience. <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> And Bring it on. So I have to say this because Charlotte yep. told me about this. Yes. New Year's Eve, this is going to be the happening place. Oh, is it? Okay, good. It's a well, private. Well, I'm going wherever you're going. It's, it's a wow, private no. ticket event. So it's going to be a blast. Yay. And it's $75 per, which is nothing. Yes. Because you spend hundreds of dollars elsewhere. Absolutely. You can, however, get a VIP yes. ticket for Ooh. $300. Ooh. That's going to be the top of the line champagne. I love that. You know, all the ones that people like really want. Like little samplings, like flights of champagne. Delicious food. Yummy. All kinds of, like, you know, I mean, oysters and caviar and all kinds of the things Sounds that you would expect wonderful. of a high end establishment. Sign me up. And you can go to the Facebook page and it takes you to link to the ticks or you can go to Eventbrite and the deal is it, there's a capacity yeah obviously right. we're in a beautiful right. place but you can only cram so many I can't stand on your shoulders for no, so long no not for long mm -hmm. I can hold you for a while I can balance I'm pretty good balance so if you want to spend a Juggling. fabulous New Year's Eve somewhere fun seeing then old Lang Syne ringing in the new year patronize our patrons and yes. those people who take her from Tara is shot all over town and I love to go places to promote local yeah, businesses I love that you do the same I, it's very you important you promote everything local well I love local I grew up in Louisville it's my hometown I love everything about it I love the fact that you have had this this widely varied career as yes. as have many people that the public may not know everything about them and there are things that you've done that have not hit the newspapers which is kind of surprising because you you have led a very public life but um, one of the things that I just think is so fascinating is that you literally just returned from the funeral of our 41st president. I did. Be thank you, John. Thank you so much. Because of the fact that you were the youngest special counsel to the president in the history of the White House. Mm -hmm. Special Who assistant. knew? Yes. And that was only five years ago. Oh, well, like, hello. <laughs> You're still the youngest. I started when I was 12. You're amazing. I know. It's spectacular. So, <laughs> so tell it's me. that good Catholic upbringing. And you are also a distinguished alumna of uh, Sacred Heart. I am. I went to school in Beaver, Oregon mm -hmm. at a beautiful 12 year school, St. Mary of the Valley Academy. Oh, you did? I did. So we both wore our unis God together. God bless you. Rolled our skirts and smoked cigarettes behind the gym. Absolutely. Did we, did we not? Oh, yeah. Sister Mar Jean Ann, if you're watching. Sister Marcella, mm -hmm. here we are. <laughs> and my, my nuns actually watch this live cast. I know they do, and mine would too. <laughs> I have friends in my class who watch the show and always are, always are tuning in, which I, watch. I just love. I love it. I know. So you talk to me a little bit about this extraordinary experience you've had in the last week because there are a yes. lot of things I want to talk to you about but this one just really caught my attention you know particularly um, so I am for the last 10 years have been one of 25 people who have served on a presidential advisory committee um, and that essentially is to look at George Bush number 41 we call him 41 yes his legacy in his life uh, it's affiliated with the foundation, 
with the George Bush Presidential Library Foundation and right. the library itself. And so it's been a really unique and wonderful opportunity to kind of reconnect with the people who were served in the White House. And at isn't the it sad that it takes the funeral to do it, right? I, uh, you know, right. that's what they always say. It always takes the funerals. It, no, it's true. It and the weddings true. and stuff like that. To and get it was really together. wonderful to reconnect with all these fabulous people. Yeah. And the one thing that was really remarkable to me is how many um, very other focused uh, servants, yes. leaders there are and were in the White House under George Sr. and the ripple effect. Yes. And just where they are now, what they've done, and all the good work. Yeah, remarkable that stuff. Done. Yeah. Really amazing. And I, I take pride in that yes. because. It was a reconnecting of those folks that I knew I liked, and now I really, really like Isn't them. Isn't that amazing? Because I see all the good stuff they've done. Well, and a lot of people have pursued completely different political paths. You know, yes. some have gone from Republican to Democrat, Absolutely. and some have gone independent, and nobody really cares because you've made a mark on the world through the work that you all have done. Very well said. Yeah. Very well said. And it really is apolitical to a degree, because he was very apolitical to a degree. He, yes, absolutely. He tended to go party when it was necessary, of yeah. course. But the things that mattered to him were very much non-party affiliated. Um, the American with Disabilities Act, yes. um, the Clean Air Act. Yep. I mean, some things that were not necessarily very favorably received. Right. At the time, and now are seen as absolutely, and now were monumental. <laughs> exactly, yes. I love that. Gigantic, gigantic, gigantic. Monumental is so much better a word. No, I like that. I'm using gigantic from now well, on. Well, so seriously, you know, you stop and think about the things that have happened, and you were a young pup, yes. a young whippersnapper. So interestingly enough, so I served um, for three and a half years under Reagan. Yeah. Um, and then was the only person who made the transition from the Reagan administration to the Bush administration. Um, and were you there when President Reagan's assassination attempt occurred? I was not. I was still, uh, yeah, was I was scary. still in school. It was I was at the scary. legislature in Oregon, you know, as a as a 20 something year old learning yes. about politics then too. And that, it was a very scary it, time. It's very and you remember the Pope was shot within a couple of months I of that. I absolutely so, remember. Yeah, we have some pretty significant events in our lifetimes. So interestingly enough, the, the Secret Service agent yes. who was the one who took the bullet for him. Timothy. Was still on the detail, what we call the detail, right. when I was there. And in an wow. advisory role and capacity. And so it was interesting to speak with him, to ask him about not only that piece of it, but had it did it color the way that he protected oh, yeah. his detail, yeah. right? And the way he looked at things and, and and the answer is yes, of course. And everything is seen through that filter yes. because you just kind of um, look more closely, identify people more I mean you just have to. Did you have Sadly. Secret Service protection as a member of the staff? Um, so yes, to wow. the degree. Well, not not from you know outside. Like when I went home, no. Right. But when we were traveling at, under the auspices of the White House overseas um, and domestically, we did. That's pretty cool. And we had um, we've had there were a few kind of incidences. Um, I will say. Can you share that, well, or is it all classified? No, no, I'm, I'm declassifying it right now. Okay, good. That. Are you under some sort of no, security no, clearance? No, they no? don't. I mean, um, the presidential papers, once they are out in the public domain, which yeah. is now, yeah. then they're automatically declassified once, you know. So uh, the President Bush's papers are yeah. all declassified yeah. right now. Um, and so you, an incident. Yes, an incident. incident. So we um, we were at, in a square in South America, and the president's giving a speech, and all of a sudden, tear gas, <gasps> bullets, oh my flying over the top. Gosh! I am with the members of the press corps in the press pool, and the agent who was with me threw me under a bush and jumped wow. on top of me as these tear gas and bullets and things were flying. Wow. You could see what they call the secure package, which is the presidential motorcade. Yes. Um, and you could hear on the radio that they were obviously leaving the scene. <laughs> Goodbye. See nice ya. knowing you. <laughs> Good <laughs> luck with that under that bush. So, with a um, 200 pound Secret Service agent lying atop you, exactly. and you weigh like 40. So, the, <laughs> the really hilarious thing is my boss, Marlon Fitzwater, who was the president's oh spokesperson. God, yeah. 
he was in such a rush to get back to the secure package that he ran into a water container that was an oh, orange God. water container. <laughs> and he was so like, you know, flummoxed about it. He thought he had run over one of the speech writers oh, no. who had on an orange dress. Well, because you're only about as big as an orange water container. And so, so the entire it. time, he's, Paul, mea culpa, mea culpa, I'm so sorry I ran over you. Oh, well, he God. didn't, it was a water cooler. <laughs> But we're all, I'm kind of watching under this, and What's she's watching on? it, and he's like all nervous. And What was it, you know. a junta? I mean, what was going so, on? So anyway, it, it really was. Yeah. It was a, it was a um, military operative group who wow. was there to really create more of a trauma than to oh, inflict scary. hurt. Yeah. But I was, then I'm separated from everybody. So now it's incumbent upon me to get the people are my members of the press corps back to the filing center and back to the presidential you know yeah where everybody's secure yes and i've got my agent who now has to go kind of assess the damage in the scene yes so we're walking literally i take my heels off and we are walking through should have been curious this city <laughs> When all of a sudden this white van comes and slows down, the door swings open, and they look at me and they go, Laura, and I go, mm-hmm. They're like, come on in. And I like Hopefully they were the our van. Guys. I mean, I'm like, they were you our know guys, my right? name. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still here to tell the tale. Oh my God. What a tale. And it speeds off. What a tale. I, have great, I really have great stories. Tons of stories. Have you written a book yet? No, Are that's, going that's to? a great idea. Yeah. I think you should. I think you should. One you of them would, is would really fun. I was all. running in Athens, Greece to give updates to a presidential speech. And the only way to get through there was to go on the back of a motorcycle on a gendarme. And I hike That's up my dress officer. with the high heels. Oh, no. <laughs> Who has the, the AK-47 strapped against? And I'm like this, hanging on. And we go for it to go get this updated. Holy smoke. Yeah. I mean, it's that kind of stuff. That's which is really exciting fun. kind of stuff. It That's is kind of fun. Exciting. Yeah. So you came back from Washington. Yes. Uh, after two administrations, so yes. we're, we're talking about how old are you at this point? So 30? 30, yeah, yeah, exactly. I figured that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're close you're to good. the same age. Yeah. So you're 30 years old and you think, okay, how do I top this? Right. What did you do then? Well, I actually moved up to New York. Okay, I was in New York right. City immediately after and I worked for corporate headquarters, Macy's Corporate, and ran their investor relations and community. I was in charge of the parade. Damn! So I went from my oh kids my obviously gosh. I went from like riding on Air Force One. You were to in charge Elizabeth of the parade. Perkins in the new <laughs> I was on 34th yes, Street. Oh I my was. god. Did you hire the Santa and everything? I didn't do that. Oh my but god. yes, but we were in Santa Land and she so. ran the Macy's Thanksgiving Day <laughs> is that Parade. Hilarious? That is the coolest thing ever. And I'm so, sitting next to her. Oh my kids laugh at me because my claim to fame is that I was on the tail end of Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> and I was holding it down. That was my first year. I'm like, I think that I need to walk in this. It is hilarious. It was really funny. And it was so windy that yes. I literally was airborne. Oh, I'm sure you I were. mean, I was up in the air on the tail. There's a reason they pick great big guys uh -huh. to man the balloons. Exactly. Literally. And my parents were watching on TV. They're like, is that Laura hanging from the back? <laughs> is that Laura flying that along big red tail? tail? I think it is. <laughs> It was so really bad. So, so, how long were you at Macy's? And and could if you called today and said, "This is Laura Melillo Barnum. Well, I would like to come and be seated, you know, in the front row where all of the people perform." You know, the, would they let you? Well, the greatest thing about that was I got a discount on all my wardrobe. Holy! I moly. know. I That's knew you would appreciate that. Ever. I love that. And so, um, but I just, I still have some friends there. It's God, just that's really awesome. fun. Yeah, it's changed hands a few times, Federated yes. purchased it. And, yes. Um, it emerged out of Chapter 11, but my boss, who I adore, um, he is now running JCPenney. I think he just retired recently. Wow. But he went from there to LVMH to JCPenney. I'm like, oh, hire me at Louis, yeah. you know, Louis Vuitton. Yeah. C'est bien. You could go through that. For I me. know. So, the, so there's, a, there's a place, there used to be a place in New York City, and it was a store that had a massive staircase okay. in the set. It was B. Altman. Yes, sure. Do you remember B. Absolutely. Altman? Absolutely. Well, my mother was a buyer. What? At B. Altman okay, when she, before really she went into cool. the Navy. 
So before she, she went into the Navy, she, she was, was a, a World fire. War II veteran. Okay, yeah. that's she was Rosie she, the Riveter. She was, but she actually in silk and satin fell down that staircase uh, while she was shopping for. Uh -huh. Wait for it. Uh uh. Wallace Simpson. No, you were lying. Way. I'm telling you. There is no so way. So, the Altman, I mean, how, co how cool is that it? That is so That you are one degree of separation from uh, someone who hello. worked at the Altman and exactly. you worked at Macy's exactly. in New York. You, there was a I reason we did this interview. You probably walked up that staircase where your mom fell I down. I bet you did. For Wallace. They had it roped off. God only knows why she she must have been thinking that is, as would be typical. They had it roped off. She took a shortcut to get from one department I to another. I was in a and rush. Ass over tea kettle, well, Rosanna. There right we go. Down the That's the best. So they had those wooden escalators at yes, Macy's, yes. and they're still there. They are the original wooden escalators. Now, I would not take my small child on them because they're not the safest. But. So did you have elevator operators? Yes, we did. So did they have what we had in Portland, Oregon at the stores like Nordstrom and, and Meyer and Frank and all the beautiful stores yes. in Portland? Yes. They had women with castanets. Oh. They literally held castanets and they would go third floor, click, ding, click. Ding. Ladies lingerie, no, fourth I floor, click, click. Had I known, I would have instituted that. Is that, that. not cool? Because that's the coolest. I mean, you can make her parade happen. Absolutely. Get the castanets out, I Laura, am so God. instituting the castanets. <laughs> that is so cool. So we're finding out all kinds of that fun is, things from Laura Malillo Barnum that is so fun. right here live on location at the Champagnery Yay. on Frankfurt Avenue at the corner of Frankfurt and Pope. Uh, which will be your destination for yes. New Year's Eve. Oh, my if you're smart, I'll you'll, get you moving. <laughs> you'll get moving on it quickly. And I'm the DD for the entire city, so it'll be perfect. Yes. Um, of course, I only, for the live, entire city. I only live right up so the street, walk. so I can walk yeah. wherever I want to go. But uh -huh. it will be a happen in place because a lot has, has yes. built up on Frankfurt Avenue yeah, in the last right. year. It is. It's There's a lot of... Yes. Commerce and yep. wonderful things opening. The next door is really yummy too. So. I know. And yeah. that hilltop and that yes. um, silver dollar and then whatever uh -huh. this place I can't remember is called. The bar. Yeah. People sit out there all summer with their dogs and I have a know. great time. And, and they've got great mushroom stuffed mushrooms. Do they really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Just saying. Stick with me. So I will stick with you. Mm -hmm. So the, the cool part about all of this is that Caroline Knopp is a mutual friend. My but best friend. Of course, Caroline Knopp is a mutual friend of everyone yes, she in is. the city. Yes. I dare she say there know a stranger. are no degrees of separation. She is the Kevin Bacon of the She Louisville. is. She's the, there are Truly. no degrees of separation with Caroline Knopp, but she usually is with the people yes. that she and I get together to plan to have on the on uh -huh. Take It From Tara, and today she couldn't be here, yeah. which is heartbreaking, but I know she's either watching or just going to watch. Yes, oh, of course she will. And I just want to express how much I love, love her, her and how fabulous she is and all the things that she does to really make Louisville a wonderful place to she live. Because she's, she's the most enthusiastic, positive, it's happy true. person. She is. I know. And she's naturally that That's way. That's right. It's she's no She's always funniness. been that way. So I'm bringing you, went you back. You went to SHA together, yes, right? We've been okay. Since we were five. Oh my God, that's so hysterical. I love that. Funny story. When I used to travel with the president, right? We get off in D plane, Air Force One, and when she was in LA, she would be at the bottom. I would clear her in through everything. Awesome. And she had asymmetrical purple hair, <laughs> combat boots. <laughs> they think she was a terrorist. They <laughs> did. Spikes in the leather skirt, and all my Secret Service agents would be like looking at her, like, "Stand down. It's my best friend." Because I'd have my Albert Nippon suit with my little pumps, all buttoned up, and I'd be like hip hopping off. So good to see you! And oh, then there hilarious. she is, rocking and singing, and her, yeah. She's doing her. I always tease her about being a medieval times wench in Orlando. No, that, with my sister. No, really. I can't make that up. She can rock it when it comes they to singing Disney tunes. That's all I can say. Used to work as the wench and sing with beer steins. <laughs> She's gonna kill how me. do you make that up? Bringing this oh, up again. Sorry, it's so funny. I mean, uh, honestly, it, look at how beautiful this restaurant is behind gorgeous. us. It's gorgeous. We have our champagne and our mocktail. I mean, how much? It couldn't be any better. How, how is your champagne? Oh, I haven't tested it you yet. Better but I will tell you. Hey, Marty, will you come here for just one second? I want you to have a second oh, it's to, fabulous. to say something. Oh, you on look so handsome. Camera. This is Laura Malillo Barney. Hey. So good Marty to see is you. the manager. I'm going to just share my little microphone with you. But yeah. what kind of champagne have you served, Ms. Barnum? No. Uh, this is the Beaujolais. Yes. Mm. So I know Charlotte was telling me that she has gone and done classes about taking classes about all the different. Mm -hmm. Grapes and mixtures and all that wonderful. So cool. 
Because yeah. I know she knows her stuff. It's a she knows her stuff. World. She does. Yeah, and then, she, how she do you know all about this? Uh, I'm learning. Honestly. Okay, good. I've only been here for about a month now, so I'm still in the process. Perfect. Of I love Perfect. your beard. Beards I do too. are becoming the big thing. I know. It's guys. it's really cool. And they're big beards. They're, they're not little beards. They're good. It's true. They're lumberjack. They're beards. good lumberjack. Do you have a plaid shirt? Do you? Okay, it's under that. there. <laughs> it's right, like Superman. It's Cyberman. Hello, off. I've come to say I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Yeah. Sleep all night and I work all day. We won't sing the part about the ladies' lingerie because we don't want to embarrass Marty. Is that Davy Thank you. Crockett? Uh, no, it's um, Monty Python. Monty, Monty Python. Python. Oh. I love my mocktail. I don't know, but this is lovely. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you for letting Our us pleasure. be here. So, um, so the champagne he matches the embankment as well. I'm telling just you what. You know. That mm -hmm. you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just give them a little scan. It's so here. pretty. I want I mean, to really show you guys because you're you're sitting here watching and piano, one angle, and, the and whole. I want to I want to show you that's a Steinway self-propelled piano. But I need is, one of those at home. This is I play the piano. <laughs> so do I. <gasps> can we play a duet? We can play chopsticks. What would we like to play together? Chopsticks. Chopsticks, of course. Okay. So this is the champagnery. I love the banquette against the walls. I know, There's a it's lovely gorgeous. several seating areas back there. Of course, we have some of the Christmas decor. That has Charlotte written all over it. It is so Charlotte, and she is so beautiful. She has the perfect taste Such a in distinguished, everything. yet down-to-earth young woman. Yes, she is. She is, and her... Nephew Eric Wentworth, who is a co-owner of the Hub, also here. Adorable. And Brad, of course, we shouldn't mention. We shouldn't mention yeah. Brad because he doesn't like to be talked yeah, about. he but doesn't. But he's just as, he as really fabulous. So yeah. um, and talented. So let me say hi to some of the folks who are watching. Yes. Hi. hi. Oh, is that for me? Mary, thank Mary. Thank oh, thank so you for bringing much. our gift. Thank you for bringing a present. We that is love so cool. it. That's so nice of you. But you do our look like a little customer elf. tonight. <laughs> she does. She looks so cute the with her little green. She opens at four, but it usually takes yeah. a while to get rolling. And mm -hmm. people are walking by, looking at us in the windows, and thinking. Mm. I'm feeling very French, aren't you? I, I feel Mais fabulous. Oui, I feel. Bien. I wish I could speak it did it you. to tell you. So Matthew Glazer says, right next to Hilltop Tavern, love this location. Yes. Sylvia Walters, fabulous vocalist, says happy holidays. Linda yes. Hillen, Grant, Eric Cooper, 22 other people. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, my. Love you, Oh, Scott. yeah. Uh, you guys had a party on Saturday we night. We love her. I wish I could have been there. She's so wonderful. Leslie and Hansford, her sisters. who works yes. with My Dog Eats First, a fabulous love homeless Leslie. animal outreach. Lisa Mitchell says she needs to check this place Come out. Come on over. Linda and Lisa, we're here. Yeah, we're Come here. On Come now. on. Jennifer Fitzgerald is watching. My neighbor, Dan McIntyre, John Young, former co-anchor. I Fox love that. Oh, Don my Burke, gosh. That's Newcomb, so fun. Alan Miller, great guest. Yeah. Oh, of course. You. Jody Bedell, who's one of my pool party friends at the uh, condos. Well, I want to live you with come. you. Amber Clark of the main event, James Green, Ron Zender, Melanie Clark. Hi, Ron. Great CPA. Uh-huh. Johanna Perry, mm. neighbor and friend. I love that. Mary Kay Corfidge, who we all know and love. We love Debbie Mary Kay. Gober, Kip Wilson, and I just Look appreciate at that. you guys watching us. Thank you. It's great to see all of you. It is. This is Laura Malillo Barnum, in case you don't know, which is hard to believe that you wouldn't. But uh, Laura started her life here in Louisville with Caroline Knopp at the age of five, mm -hmm. progressed all the way to Washington, D.C., then be in New York, came back to Louisville, and probably lived several other places in between. Yes, did. Where? Ohio. Oh my God. I know. What Ohio, was in Ohio? Ohio was like kind of lack. Oh, sorry, people from. I love Ohio. Ohio is a fabulous <laughs> a little lackluster place. lackluster in comparison to New York and Washington. <laughs> but I really do. I mean, I think if my sweet spot, I, really, it's New York. That's yeah. my pace. I mean, intellectually, cool DC was fun because of the experiences, sure, and the travel, and the people. But New York was just. It That's is. why they call it the Big Apple. It is New fabulous. New York, New York. Exactly. We need Caroline to sing it. I know. No, you should have your own like Broadway show. No, I Caroline think. said we had a variety show with the Yascones last week because oh. we had the the Yuletide ukuleles from Sacred Heart Hall. Yes. Ball. We had one of my daughters. I know. Yeah. I interviewed her, and eight she's weeks. beautiful. They've been playing eight weeks, she's and they precious. loved you. Oh, they were so. Precious. They were. They were so scared. I'm like, oh no, 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 no. Yeah. You will love her. She, just, they're just. They were so 
they're just guileless at that they age. Really you know, are. they have no knowledge of what's happening around them, Absolutely. so they just kind of have to go with the flow. And Ex they did a perfect exactly job. Exactly right. They did a perfect that job. That is very well said. Well, they did. Yeah. They're, they're what, 12, 11, 12 years 13? old? 13? My God, they're yeah. babies. I know, they really are. That babies. was the best year. I mean, I remember when I it was seventh grade. And where were you living? I was in Beaverton, Oregon. Okay. At St. Mary the Valley Academy. You grew up in Beaverton, Oregon. Yep, until okay. I was 23. And my dad brought me a dozen red roses Aww. for my 12th birthday. How sweet. And we were doing Huckleberry Finn, and we were in dress rehearsals. What, who were you in Huckleberry? Huckleberry? Oh, God, that was My hair was shorter was even so than it is now. Great. But Daddy came You were the lead. And my girlfriends put their hands over my eyes, and when oh, I opened my eyes, there's, and, and you, you see my face. And remember it. Oh, my God, I've got a picture of that moment. Ah. Daddy's in his suit and tie, came home from the office, got the roses. So, you know, all these, it's so I funny how memory. all these things happen. And you think about your life, and I traveled, and I was fortunate to Absolutely. be able to perform and do right. the, lots of the different things. Which and is I had why politics. you got into media. Politics was always a passion, and, mm -hmm. and still is. And you know, and we end up in this little corner in Louisville, right. in Crescent Hill slash Clifton. And thankfully, we lured you in. And we thank God we all came home because you know this is home now. This has been home. I love to hear you say that. Thirty-five years. Yeah. I that can't imagine living happy. anywhere else. So my father was a transplant. He's a New Yorker. And he took my mom up to New York and she lasted one winter. Oh my God, Eight, I can, I can understand feet. that. It's snow. Oh my God. She said, Larry, it's not happening. Either we're Larry. going back to Kentucky or I'm, I'm out. Yeah. And he moved back. And it was home for him too. You know, we were talking about the girls uh, at, at Sacred Heart Model who came in and played for this party at the Ascones. It's the Frankfurt Avenue Coach House, which is and the it's coolest. A bed and breakfast, but you know, Beautiful. evening suite and all kinds of fun stuff. Hi, Hi. welcome to the Champagne. Come on in. Glad you're here. Um, we're good. They can just hire us. I know. This is fun. Marty, will you hire us? We to be want your to come from those beautiful places well, like we, this. We got it. And so um, these kids did such a great job, but they were one part of a multifaceted party that was called the um, Prohibition right. Christmas Classic yes. Open House. Which and they all so dressed fun. in prohibition wear. It was beautiful. And they and had those girls are beautiful. They are so funny. Love, joy, and faith. Wow. Which coincidentally is the name were the names of my grandmother and her two sisters. What? Faith, hope, and joy. You're kidding. So these three That's girls and really their wonderful neat. mother Glenda, who was wonderful. had so much fun together. And we had it was uproarious. And so Caroline says to me, Hi, how, how are you doing? You? Welcome to the Champagne Room. Come on in. Caroline said that our show was like a variety show. Oh. I love that. Because you got the ukuleles, you got the singers and the actors. Nobody I mean, was dancing, but just they could the have been. ukuleles alone. <laughs> when my daughter is like, Mom, I want to take ukulele. I'm like, you want to what? Good for her. I know. So we've got Tina Smith and Terry Howard and Renee Woodrum Yay. all joining in, too, Hi, uh, to watch you. I, don't you love having a yes. monitor? I love that. See, this is such a simple. You're so high tech. This is a simple and portable setup that didn't that. cost a fortune. I know. And that's because it's you the and only, you're fabulous. The only problem is when I want to move, like yeah. when I want to walk, yeah. then we're kind of tethered together. Yeah, it's a well, little bit of a challenge. I kind of like that, though. I kind of like. I'm just yeah. gonna like tether myself to you for the <laughs> remainder of the year. Welcome, Lisa Smith, who is a fabulous dog friend of mine. Uh, you know uh, the dog community. I love the dog community. I don't have any currently, but I love the dog community. I know you're a dog lover. I am. I yeah. really am. And I, we will have some very soon. We've yes. got it. We're doing a timing. My mom actually just passed. So I know, and I was going to tell you, I'm so sorry. We're grieving through that, yes. and I think she would enjoy and love the fact that we're, we're yes. now we're gonna we're gonna, yeah, get a new member of the family. Well, and you know, I lost my mother last year yeah, at 97. Sorry. God bless her. And you have good genes. I did. I, I'm so lucky. And but so you know, fabulous. I saw that when your mom passed away, and I've. Just been waiting to reach out to you and Thank tell you, you I'm sorry for Thank your loss. Thank you, and it's, you too. It's the worst loss, it's I think. It's jarring, isn't it? Yeah, because you're an, you're just an adult all yeah, of a sudden. Yeah, you really are, and you kind of feel isolated. My father passed 17 years ago. Mine too. So yeah. it was. And how old was your father when you Daddy passed? Daddy was 80. See, you've got. Wow, he died, you've got he died early though. Yeah. You know? Right. 
in comparison. It, I mean, you've got good genes, though. I do. Yeah. So you're gonna. Well, I almost died five years ago, so I'm I'm lucky to be alive here. So I suffered a life-threatening depression. No, I did not know that. And I was very grateful to have a great medical uh, support team, a lot of great people who love me and care about me. Yes. I got the the treatment. I I said at the Bridgehaven Mental Health Services yes. breakfast, I am seated. I said I my that. three most important people are in the room. Yeah. My psychiatrist, my yeah. therapist, and my pharmacist. I love it. It's the triple threat. You've got to have the right meds, you've got to have the right counseling, and you have to have somebody supervising Amen it. Amen to that. So, and here I, I love sit. you for speaking about that because totally. everyone needs to go seek help if they need it. That's I, the whole thing. It and is. people are so afraid, and there's so much it's stigma, a stigma attached. And that's why it's when what you, age used to be. Absolutely. You know, stigma attached to age, stigma attached to mental retardation, stigma attached yep. to autism, stigma attached all this. Stigma is crap. It is. I you know, agree. we don't need it anymore. No. Because you just meet people where they are. And, and you lend a hand. Everybody goes out. like this. Yeah. I absolutely. mean, it, and if they say they don't, then that's and untrue. And they're lying. <laughs> just lying. I mean, it's just the way life is. Yeah. There are ups and there are downs yep. and there's highs and there's lows and you, you work through it. But I think it's, so I have, my oldest is a, so, a second year sophomore at UVA. And I think one of the things that I am going to start working towards is education towards freshmen, that transition yes. from senior yes. in high school to freshman. Good. And I think it's really imperative yeah. that people understand that you know they, they feel isolated, yep. they, um, it's all new for them, they're, they're away from on home. their own, they're away from home, yep. they don't have a support system. Yep. It is a tough year and the, as you know, markedly, yes. the incidences of, you know, issues yeah. has increased exponentially mm -hmm. and I really think social media and a lot of that <laughs> isolation is playing into well, it. Well I'll tell you this, I was very impressed by the fact that um, several of the Louisville um, Jefferson County Public School Board members came to yes. the Bridgehaven Breakfast and yes. I'm also thrilled that Dr. Polio has a full intent of putting a mental health counselor in every Jefferson County Public School Love in the district. That's great. And that's huge because teen suicide is on the rise. Huge. Drastically. So. The numbers are terrifying. Depression is great. It is. Mental illness often manifests itself in the yes. teen years, 14 and Absolutely. up. Absolutely. And so to have someone who you can go to and talk to and who be can become familiar with the students as opposed to dropping in every once in a while to do crisis counseling. Right you know, build relationships, that would be the first step that I could see Wonderful. to your plan I love that. of the transition to college because then the, the people can say, look, this is what's going to happen to you yes. in the next year. Yes. You've got a huge change coming up and they're in puberty, you know, and Absolutely. They're, they're dating people and they're working and they're doing all the things that a young person does as they're becoming a grown up. Yep. And then they're going, you, your daughter's at UVA? What's that, four or five hundred miles away? And he's swimming son. for UVA. Yeah. And so what precipitated this whole thing was there was a, a young man on his floor who committed suicide, who was part of the crew team for UVA. Brilliant wow. young man. And my son, who was always in the water, came home and said, what could I have done? What happened? Yeah. Right. Who missed the signals? Why should I have? Could I? You know, and it was really hard yeah. to kind of gear him yep. towards. Okay, so yeah, you can be an advocate for yep. your fellow students. Yeah. You have to be very aware of it all, but there's also got to be that line of communication, right? Open that they in the stigma piece that they feel like they can reach out. And survivor guilt is horrible. Oh gosh. You know, and I've experienced that a couple of times in my life. And you do it like you have a car accident. Yeah, exactly. And you survive, and the other person doesn't. You're right. Or whatever. Right. Survivor guilt is a huge huge problem yes it and is. that can lead to PTSD Absolutely. and further complications so yeah. you know and, and I love the fact that with someone like Laura Malolo Barnum you can veer from the silliest topics <laughs> to the know. most significant I topics in the, in the beat of a heart I know but that's what makes you so interesting well, yeah well back to Clifford the big red dog <laughs> Oh, and one other she was story. Macy's balloon. This uh -huh. is what Clifford is. Yeah. Refer okay. Here we go. I, a, a, a true story. Oval Office. Mikhail Gorbachev's in there. Holy crap! Yeah. 
<laughs> with the President of the United Misha. States. Misha. 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 Mm -hmm. It's so good to see Raisa you. was not Post in Madonna. there. Mm -hmm. No, Raisa was gone. And the interpreter, <laughs> the American press corps, Russian press corps, state dinner, have on a formal state satin dress. Wow. I have something on the back of my dress. President of the United States goes, Laura, Laura, you got, you, you, you have something. All the cameras go, oh, to my derriere. Oh my God. Where I'm like this, wiping whatever it is off of my no. butt. And then, to make it worse, the Russian interpreter is saying oh, no. all of this. Oh, no. And Mikhail and the president are going back and forth going, what do you think it is that's on her derriere? Oh. And finally, I'm like this. Okay, let's get back to the global thermonuclear war that could be happening, and not whatever it is that's on the on back my of butt. my dress. Oh my god! True story. Oh my god, JP Davis, Laura Barnum is my Yay. spirit animal. Who says, I love OMG. you, JP. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Lisa. You're the best. Lisa has hashtag fight the stigma, and she's watching from Australia. Love that. Love that we have international I viewers. I love that. Take it from Dara Patrick so, Whalen. Love you, Patrick. We love Patrick. Tony Hendricks is watching. Thank you guys so much. So I know, isn't this just a beautiful this place? This is so fabulous. As you can see it from over our shoulder on the window and mirror, it says yes. the champagnery. Uh -huh. Laura has a, what did she say, Beaujolais? A Beaujolais. Beaujolais champagne. Yes. I have a lovely mocktail. And we want to remind you that the New Year's Eve party at the Champagnery is going to be unparalleled in Louisville. It is. 75 bucks a pop, and that gives you the toast and a bunch of, you know, so snack fun. food. And then you can go for the big gusto. And Tara is singing and playing yeah. the piano. So is Laura. Uh -huh. Tara's going to dance. On top of the piano. She is. Do you know where I used to dance? I can, I can tell. Yes, I knew That's that. That's Patrick Whalen, his I knew that. sister and I danced yes, together. Yes, and I... Worship at the feet I of know. Wendy Whalen. How can you not? And her mother lives in my neighborhood too. And she might be and her the single the best most fabulously <laughs> crazy. Kay, if you're yeah. watching, she's, we love you. Yeah, she's having knee surgery tomorrow. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I got to watch out for that woman. Oh, if I she didn't, didn't have that. knee surgery, she wouldn't stop long enough well, to rest. That will so. not slow her down. But but I'll tell you about Wendy. That's so cool. Wendy came home. And so I got to see her, and my yeah. dog at the time yeah. had been injured very badly and right. had a cast on her leg. Aww. And I remember the greatest ballerina in the world mm -hmm. sitting on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. holding my dog mm -hmm. in her arms mm -hmm. and comforting her and telling me about climbing into a dumpster in New York City to rescue, rescue kittens. It. Mm -hmm. I can absolutely see her doing that. I mean, that. seriously, that whole bunch is just, I love them I all. I used to sneak into the stage door of the New York Theater and knock on it. And, this, and, and there she was. And she'd open it up, and I'd come in, and I'd watch, and I'd like cry, and then I'd God. sneak back out. I know. She's the amazing. joys of living in New York City. So JP says, um, Laura needs to run for president. I agree. <laughs> yeah. I'll help. Uh -huh. Annette says, does it get any better than you two marvels? Uh, well, I don't know about no. that, but JP says, what in the heck is he talking about? Okay, I'm signing I'm off. Signing Hello off. from Fat Camp in Utah. What? Well, he shaved his is beard. He? Maybe he feels uh, like he's got to lose a uh, pound or two. Are you like running up a hill or something, JP? I, either that I don't or know. You don't need it. You're looking know. great, baby. Tracy I don't know what you're Sprouls talking about. Is watching us. Okay, so Tracy. I love to tell you about my viewers. I love this. I want to know all about. We them. have so many different people it's who so watch great. and enjoy. Tracy has a herd of tiny heroes. Love on four legs, Aww. and they're miniature therapy horses. Oh, I love that. Where does she have them? She has them on a little Golden farm County? out on, no, out on uh, Third Street Road. What? 20 minutes from here. You're kidding. She has kindly brought her little horse down to Bridgehaven. I love that. Where all of our members just delighted. And then this year, Aww. she brought the mom, the dad, and the baby. Oh, my. How does she get them there? She brings them in a little tiny miniature horse. Tiny, horse. tiny, tiny trailer for tiny horses. It's so little. Oh. The whole trailer is like about the size of You're the corner. Kidding. It's just hysterical. For little tiny so, horses. Thank you, Tracy. Yay. Um, Tracy says, Laura, I think I'm yeah, I know. I'm pretty you sure too. you do. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you do. Yeah. You guys probably took ballet classes. I'm sure we did. With the miniatures. Yeah, with the miniatures. We danced on the back of the miniatures. Yes. And so therapy animals will be our next topic. Yes. I just heard, though, that Delta is not allowing them on flights over eight hours. 
Well, that's a bad idea. I think so too. Because I'm if really it's not a, in support so of that. So it's not. They're saying no service dogs yes. too. Yes. Well, that's like against On the law. On long flights. That's against the law. Well, they're they they've just announced We're it. We're going to have to fight Delta on that one. Uh, they just service, came out with that. Service animals are different from therapy animals, and emotional support animals are different from service oh. animals. Oh, well said. There are different categories. Right. What would a dog, to be a right? service dog, it yes. has to be able to do a task for you that you cannot right. do without it. Okay, so maybe it's the emotional That's support. That's possible. I'll have to that. That must be that. what it is. Emotional support animals, though, are critically important to people yes. who are suffering from Mental anxiety, depression, anxiety yeah. PTSD, Hand travel, brain injuries, yeah, I mean, whatever. I'm, it opens the door. Yes. And there are organizations in this town, like Dogs Helping Heroes yes. and Wounded Warriors, organizations wounded that warriors. provide service animals to veterans who otherwise could not leave their homes. Love that. And I just did Wagon Wednesday. This is normally Wagon I Wednesday. I love that. Today it's Laura Wednesday. Oh gosh, I can't usurp Wagon Wednesday. So we got to talk and about it. And that's what we're talking about. Animals. Yes, we okay. got to talk about it. So I just talked last week to a wonderful woman, a veteran herself. Yes. Dog trainer named Danielle Ames, and she's training service animals. Yes. But she's training veterans to train ah, service animals. We're paying that's, you forward. That's the cool part right that's there. That's really cool. So the fact that we have, and, and she literally, and David Benson, who started uh, Dogs Helping Heroes. Love that. And so many other great organizations are doing things to get people out of their houses. Because right. when you have PTSD, you have been through war, yep. your life is a nightmare. And to not be able to get out and get the support you need, the socialization, is devastating. I agree. I agree. And many of the men that I know and women that I know who have had the, the problem with PTSD have said, this dog saved my life. Yeah, I love that. So I, I love the fact that we've got such a, and again, it's Louisville. You know, we've got yeah. these great organizations. Great support systems yes. and, yeah. and people. I mean, that's what it's all yeah, about. Do. You have the biggest heart in the world. I mean, that is so As do you. wonderful that you are here and, and still giving and active and, you know, and you the know, community loves you. Well, you know. This is a true story. It's so my friend Heather Howell, who was going to come in. I love Heather. In. Yes. Ruby Red. She, Ruby. Exactly. Yeah. I do. But now she works for uh, Brown Foreman. But she said to me, she goes, uh, awesome. she is the original rock star. Oh, and God. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That's awfully she kind. She is. Because Heather's really a rock well, star. I know. She really is. She, I met her years she's ago amazing. when she was doing the Ruby, Ruby Red Ruby Tea. Red tea. Mm -hmm. And she I'm was glad the she's working TEO. for Brown. Yes. <laughs> I love that. That's so cute. You know. Um, uh, I want to be the TEO. Tracy says, Strider and I were out last Friday doing visitation. Oh, oh. so she goes, she goes to nursing homes and that's, schools that's and stuff awesome. like that, too. That's awesome. That's Lynn really. Lynn Stetson is watching. Oh, hi, Liddy. Kit K is watching. Um, oh, she works for a dentist. Oh, Tracy, a dentist. Tracy is a dental hygienist. Wow, for whom? Well, uh, I can't Do remember. Do we know? No, Tracy, she'll let tell us me. know. I can't remember his name, but maybe that's how she knows you. Maybe that's so. But I'm not a. Have I, you ever seen Laura's fourth molar? I don't know. I don't know how to his teeth. This one. In college, yeah, I like chipped it and it died because I, I was dancing You'd with never a beer know. bottle. Oh my god! Yeah, do you remember when you used to be? Able, this is before I quit drinking years ago. Yeah. You used to be able to disco dance with a drink in one hand, uh -huh. a cigarette in the other. I never smoked. How about that? Good for you. Yeah, that was a ha because I danced. And oh yeah, that's like, right. You it couldn't cut yeah. my wind. Yeah, but I'm glad I didn't because yeah. I kind of have an addictive personality well, I do too. And it might not have been good. That's what makes us do the things I we do. I know. I know. You know, you're just you're high. Like Caroline life. did, and then she kicked oh it. Oh my God! I, I just quit four years ago. Seriously, it was Proud the best thing I ever did. Proud of you. So it's hard to do. <clears throat> what I'm curious about is, besides all the, the, first of all, you have been with Yum for years, and you have your own media consulting 24 service. Twenty-four years. Uh huh. What do you? What does your actual job entail? Because you just came from KCA and you had a board meeting. I did. For, How did you know that? Did I? Tell I you? know everything. <laughs> you do know I everything. I stalk you. Ta, 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 ta. I, I really love Kentucky Center. Yes. It's a great... How's the repair work going down Oh, there? it's so much better. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're Good. on the road to recovery, Good. and 
the everything was great. The um, all of the federal funding and the insurance and the whole thing. And Good. so they were, they're coming out on top. Great. And they're actually going to be able to make some improvements. No way. Yeah. yeah. So I'm um, you know incremental, but still I think. Um, they're very, very excited Good. about the whole thing. So I'm glad. Anyway, that's a fun, uh, fun board because we get to work with fabulous artists yeah. all the time. Oh, yeah, for sure. And I, that is my love. So I've got two, two sisters, one of whom runs her own theater on Nantucket, and my second How one cool is that? runs a small little theater in Winter Park, Florida. So I've got all this like is it kind dinner of, theater. It is a dinner oh, theater. I love dinner theater in and Florida. And they it's are so the most awesome. fabulous. They sing all these great. Dr. Brooks. Dr. Brooks. Oh, Oh, well, of course I know you. <laughs> Dear God. She can't identify you as a patient oh because that would God. be a HIPAA violation. You're Tracy Tracy, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, Tracy, talk about horses. Hair, Tracy. She's fabulous. I she's, love she her. She is fabulous, and she's a she's wonderful the best friend. ever. So I'll tell you, okay, so we'll go back from KCA, and we'll come back to it. Yes. So before Mother passed away. Yes. We were out at Tracy's little miniature horse farm. Yes, yes. We raised I know all minis. about it now. So we raised minis when yeah. I was a kid. And so we're out at the barn and we're having lunch on the little lovely lawn yes. and Strider, who is the male, mm -hmm. and Peaches, who is the female, mm -hmm. decide that they're going to make sweet love in the middle of the <laughs> barn. <laughs> so Tracy is horrified. Okay, that is My mother says, the honey, best. honey, it's just nature. <laughs> exactly. Don't worry. Your so, 94 year old mother. She was 97. That's even worse. <laughs> So anyway, Tracy's like, oh my God, Mrs. Bassett, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Well, my mother's name is Rosanna. Oh, my best. So Tracy says, if the baby yeah, we're gonna name is her. born, we're going to, if she's a filly, we'll name Never. her for your mom. Absolutely. We'll put your mom's in her. Absolutely. Mother died three months later. Hmm. The, filly's pre the, the mare is pregnant. It's a filly, and her name is Dusty Rose. Oh, is that not the sweetest story? Oh, that's story? the best. And Tracy and my mom just had. Tracy's a hoot. She's Tracy knows all about this tooth and the beer bottle. Oh, she's do the you know that story? Did, yeah, she's oh, the one who did it all. Oh my God! What she broke she the tooth it. with the beer bottle? She, she fixed sure it. <laughs> Although that she could have broken it too. She could have because she, yeah, she was wild in her younger she would, days. Yes, in her youth. She's about our age too, and she's yes. kind of she's yeah. kind of straightened up. Yes, and started she has. to fly right. Yeah, now she's. I have no idea what time it is. I have no idea as well. Just, it's 5.18. Oh, good. We've got plenty that. of time left. Okay. Because I could go on with you for I hours. I know. Me too. Let's just do this. So you were at the Kentucky Center at a board meeting. I was. Only we weren't at the Kentucky Center. You weren't. We were at a construction site because for? we've got this new development coming out. Really? Yes. It's a, a public partnership, yeah. public-private partnership, Yeah. and it's going to be a new theater and it is going to be phenomenal. It's right down near Louisville Stoneware. Cool. And so there is this, you know, kind of coalition in the in the hood, and it is going to be a smaller um, theater, more like an experimental theater, but it will have the the relationship with the with the outside. That's so, so cool. It's going to be you know, amazing. Is it under construction it now? Is. Okay, have so you seen it? Barbara Sexton Smith. Yes, we love. Took me on a I call it uh -huh. cruising with the council. Yes, yeah, I love her. So I have her. segments with each council. I want council. to cruise with the council. You can cruise with us. She's the best. So Barbara took me on a captive two-hour take it from Tara, which was supposed to be one, <laughs> but I couldn't get and away she from her. The door. She kept me in the car for two hours. I love her. She had so much to show me. Oh yeah. And she's so she's, fabulous. I know. And we were in the Sexton Mobile. she's so mobile. passionate about yeah, everything. Yeah, she's so passionate. But she drove me past there. Yes. And that's and what it is. And she said something about, you know, she that's couldn't tell me all the details at the yeah. time because this was a few months ago. Yeah. But, you know, that is an exciting addition. It is. It is. To it'll, that area. It'll be a nice, um, it's going to bring a lot of traffic down yes. there. Yes. Yes. Um, and the way that they have it um, kind of positioned in orientation, there's going to be a lot of um, access and interaction with the neighborhood. Good. So it will Good. kind of help that flourish yes. again. Good. Um, but it's it's the really the venue is they're going to have a lot of kind of medium sized right. venues. It's. Good. It's going to be a nice addition. Well, you know, so. talking about flourishing and and recreating and, and rejuvenating yeah. and rehabbing right. neighborhoods. Right. You know, we re you just referred to the hood. There are so many hoods oh, in yeah. Louisville, yeah. and our hood here in Clifton and, and Crescent Hill. Yep. 
has flourished because when I moved up to this part of town 24 years ago, where were you? I was over on Brownsboro Road, okay. and then I was at River Hill oh, Apartments yeah, for when sure. I first when I yeah. you know was renting an apartment. Yeah. But it was like this was such a desolate stretch. Yeah, there wasn't a lot out. There really wasn't mm-hmm. anything, and it was and, quiet. You know, to yeah. see what has happened. Mm-hmm. Well, in all of our I neighborhoods, I mean, our city has has flourished. The waterfront was a huge change from all the slag heaps that were down there. So, are you ready for this one? Yeah. My father was an architect. Yes, uh, Larry Malillo. Cool. And he was the one who was the original um, design architect for not only for that whole waterfront development. Yeah. But he he was the one who kind of brought that kind of vision for Louisville. I love that. And was the first historic preservation down on Main Street. Still has, we have the building down at 7th and Main. I mean, he was, I remember as a child going down there and there were like rats going oh, down yeah. Main Street. Yeah. And I remember thinking, uh, why, why are, are we here? down here? Because here, this Daddy. is frightening. Daddy, Dad. there's a rat the there size is of a, a It is going raccoon. to eat me. And I, I'm sure this is going to be fabulous at some point, but I don't know when. That's terrifying. But yeah, so he w- he had that vision, and he was one of happened. the initial forefathers. I love that. Of that. That's so fantastic. He was very passionate about it. He was always passionate about the usage of space and that kind of relationship with the out- exterior of the world. Yeah. So instead of just living in your own little box. You know, and when you, and this is one of the reasons I wanted to do the cruising with the council site yeah. is because we stay in our little hoods. Yeah, you do. And if we can get it's out easy. of our little it's hoods. easy to do that. And see what the other side yep. looks like. You know, yep. the, Irma Bombeck said, the uh, grass is always greener on the other side of the septic tank. <laughs> and if you can get over I your fence, yeah, if you can get over your fence and see what other people live like, it's like, you know. Peek over. I'm driving with David yeah. James, right? Uh, and we're down in Old the Louisville. Best. He's all these gorgeous him, homes. Gorgeous uh, homes in Old Louisville. Yeah. Churchill Downs in Old Louisville. And yeah. then we drive down and we see Arcadia Park Apartments. Yeah. Which is one of the most dangerous parts right. of town with the most horrible poverty. Right. And it's right next door to the most to multi billionaire activity right. at Churchill Downs. Right. So you you really and I was just like stunned. Yeah. Because I, yeah. I had no idea that that demarcation was so yeah. close. So I, I just am grateful for the fact that we have people who are willing to yeah. step outside of their little neighborhoods yeah. and work to improve areas that definitely need it. And I don't like to use the term blighted, but there are parts of Louisville that are, are truly blighted. They are. And we pockets. need to work on those things. And, and that's why it's... I agree. To be at the Champagnery is a wonderful treat. No, I, I agree And I love you. it. And I also like to go places that are not as perfect. Yes. No. And do the show. And it's important to do that. Yeah. Like, and um, we were partnership, Yum was partnership with the African American Heritage Center. I love that Center place. Way before anyone started. Yep. Um, and we thought it was important because it really was this oasis yes. and could be and can be. Yep. Um, and I think those types of things are important to invest in and to understand the relationship with the surrounding neighborhoods and how yes. they impact that. And it, it, it's, it's very important that we are aware of what's going on yes. and how we can help. Well, it's like Jason Ashley Gardner, who you yes. know, yes. is a friend of, of everyone. And of he... Course is very much involved in the development of Sweet Evening Breezes, which yeah. will be the first Love LGBT it's wonderful. youth shelter for kids who may have been evicted because they're gay it's and who are homeless. And you know, and I'm very passionate about the work that is done by the outreaches like the Forgotten Louisville, yep. My Dog Eats First, the yep. Forgotten Furniture, Absolutely. Fed with Faith, Exit Zero. You know, all these wonderful people yes. and, you know, Tiny, uh, Heron, Bradshaw, Markwell, whatever her name is today because she just got married. Yes. Kristen is just an amazing leader in helping to deal with homelessness. And we just were very, very pleased to find out that the city has earmarked about a half a million dollars yes. to address the issue of the winter homeless problem. And, you know, I'm just praying that that money is put to good use to build a low barrier shelter which I agree. will allow people to come 100%. in hundred percent to come in from the cold literally no matter what their circumstances Absolutely. there should be and using it for the homeless outreaches as opposed to the established 
shelter system. I fully which, you know, agree ha with it has its that. role too. Yes, of course. But these outreach people are out there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. They, they live it. And that's where the money needs to be put. Yes. So my, you know, two cents. No, and I agree with worth. you 100%. Yeah. So Barbara Sexton Smith, we love you for working we do. on this. And Bill Hollander. Because, and Bill Hollander. Bill Hollander, Hollander very important. Guy here. And thank you for yeah. doing that. We appreciate you from, guys. From all of from the, the rest of us. From the bottom of all Because of it hearts. is very significant and important. It is. And um, we also want to thank Sherry Davis and Kenny Dorhofer. Maureen Connolly is watching. Love you, Maureen. Amy Montgomery Bergeron. Do you know Amy Bergeron who has White House I paint? Do. Oh, look. They oh, left the door look. open. They Hold up. No. Hold up. Oh, yeah. One minute. Wait, do I have to come with you to shut the door? <laughs> no. I'm going to come with you. <laughs> come with me. I, for some reason, you're... I feel like Grace and Karen. Yeah, and yeah. Will and Grace. That's we really Grace. Hobble yeah. over yeah. here yeah. together. Hobble, hobble, hobble. Or Lucy and Ethel. I like Lucy. We, we need some, like... Something chocolate. chocolate grape stomping. Chocolate grape stomping. Eat, grape stomping. Where's Erica when you need her? Erica's got chocolate. Erica, yeah. would you oh, mind we love coming to the Yummy. campaign re and bringing some mm -hmm. celery chocolate? Because that would be really nice. <laughs> we would love you for that. She said she used to come here. Well, she would, she one time she told me in a conversation that she was going to come here on a Wednesday. Oh, really? I have never been here on a Wednesday, so. And now you are. Maybe we'll it see her. Must be convergence. We'll shake her down when she comes in if she does. Uh, she will the, not get one chocolate. foot inside that door. She's got chocolates on her. So it's getting dark outside, as you can see, because we are a little dimmer than we were when we, we started. We are. Well, that's in many ways. <laughs> The law of diminishing da, da, da. returns da, da, da. has set in. Good Lord. Ba -dum -ba. Yeah, my dad used to talk about that when I used to try to convince him that it was better to have a credit card yes. and pay a portion of the bill yes. every month. Hmm. And I was learning about the law of diminishing returns uh -huh. when he said, how much do you have in your savings account? I have $100. How yes. much interest is it paying? Yes. 6%. Mm -hmm. How much is your credit card charging you? Mm -hmm. 21%. Mm -hmm. That's the law of diminishing huh. returns. Uh, and you know how my prof <laughs> professor explained it to me? Yeah. As you drink one beer, you feel fine. As you bring two, you feel even better. And three, you're dancing. By number four, five, and six, you're in the bathroom. Yeah. And that, that is the law of diminishing returns. <laughs> that's awesome. And that's how I explain it to my kids. So I'm going to have to, t especially the one at UVA, because yeah. you're the college guy. Well, he's a swimmer, so he's oh, kind of my... Oh, he's got to stay on task. He's my yeah. straight boy. There you go. Yeah, he's really... What is coming up for you next that we will be able to watch and revel in? Oh, I love that yeah, term, revel. Yeah, I know. I have got so many just little tentacles going on right now, so I'm going to have to get back to you tentacles. on that one. Yes. There are little things here and there, but I am working with Miss Caroline Knoppen. God, I love that woman. I know. So, Boy, stay I tell you what, Beckman and Caroline, we love you and we appreciate you. We do love now, you. Now, you said something about, um, mm -hmm. you, you said you loved a quote, and I saw this not too long ago. Mm -hmm. Chance favors the prepared, favors the prepared mind. mind. It's my dad's favorite quote. Explain. Yes. So, as we all know, there's a lot of things that are converge. Yes. Right? So, his view of the world was when that opportunity arises, you have to be prepared, right? Mentally, physically, emotionally, whatever it is. Spiritually. Spiritually, yep. absolutely. Yep. So, all of those things, you have your health perspective. Yep and you have to constantly kind of update. But when that one opportunity arises and you have all those things in that convergence, you can take advantage of that opportunity. And I think, you know, some people call it serendipity, some people call it divine intervention, right. however you see it, and it could be a little bit of both. Yep. Um, and I'm sure the Gascon sisters would tell you because of their new yes. book, yes. Um, that divine timing, and it really, does and that yeah. is kind of a convergence yeah. of chance does favor the prepared mind I when you were that. ready to take that opportunity. Words of wisdom from yes. Laura Malilla Martin. Wow. Who will be a guest again uh, hopefully tomorrow soon night. Later. Tomorrow. Yeah, we'll just do it all over She doesn't again. know yet. She wants another glass exactly. of the champagne. So before we sign off, let me remind you about New Year's Eve at yes. the Champagne yes. Seventy five dollars a ticket or three hundred for the VIP pass, which puts you 
in a private room yes. with the high and mighty of Louisville who will be coming here to celebrate. Yeah, the private room would be like right there on the other That's side of the bar. That's pretty awesome, just on the other side <laughs> of the piano. On the other side of the, the piano. The best champagne. And you will be playing and singing. The best food. I'll be dancing. The most I can tap fun. dance. Yeah, I do. I'm I very good at it. I actually, actually am very good tap dancer. You know, I love Erica Dello and oh, Christopher Watera. Beautiful. beautiful. They've been on my show. Yes. I want to get them back on my They're show. Lovely. Because they have a puppy. Well, it's a dog yes. now, but I mean, I love them because they are good people. They're fabulous. And there's, I think people, they're but they also other love focused dogs. and yep, yeah, they are. We love we so, love people like that. Go to the Facebook page for the Champagnery. See what the tickets yes. are. Go to Eventbrite as well, and you can follow Laura Malillo Barnum on Facebook and probably yep. on Instagram and yep. Twitter. Yep. Everything. All of the above. All of it, just like you do here. And um, thank you. Thank you. For a wonderful conversation. Yeah. That was so much fun. So much fun. I, I know. Like I love it. Wish everybody a happy holiday. Let's go holidays. another five hours. Let's go. Have, Let's go have another Merry, 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 Merry